Hi guys, somebody must have told the former Home Secretary Priti Patel that she had been mentioned as a possible future leader of the Conservative Party because she seems to be boosting her social media platform and was invited to write an article for a unionist newspaper where she described the EU as having tentacles over Northern Ireland. Anyway, the Brexiteer raised a Brexit problem with fellow Brexiteer Kemi Badenoch and asked how it could be resolved. The answer didn't make much sense. However, Pretty seemed pretty content with the non-answer. Have a listen to this. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. The Secretary of State will know inside out the one, what the wonderful county of Essex has to offer when it comes to business, exports. And we have companies like Wilkins & Sons, Wix, Bar Manor, and many other producers who will be basically selling produce that households across the country will enjoy this Christmas at home and abroad. Can she highlight, please, what she is doing working across governments with other departments to reduce the barriers to export that cover for example, produce, manufacturing costs, energy costs, and even the processing of animals. Barriers to export. You have a Brexiteer, Priti Patel, standing up in the House of Commons, asking another Brexiteer minister, what are you doing to bring down barriers to export or barriers to trade? Just think about that for a moment. Somebody who campaigned for Bre- for barriers to trade is now standing up in the house of commons asking how do we bring down barriers to trade and she posted this on social media this is not some sort of embarrassment for her she posted this in order to show her constituents look i'm working on your behalf yes i put up i supported these barriers to trade but now i'm trying to bring them down mr Uh Mr Deputy Speaker, removing barriers to trade is one of this government's top priorities. Um No, it's not. (laughs) How is it one of your priorities? Both of you are Brexiteers. Both of you still believe it was a good idea to put up barriers to trade. So how can you say it's a priority to bring down barriers to trade? If you wanted to bring down barriers to trade, you'd be talking about rejoining the European Union and the single market. But you're not. You're going in the opposite direction. You believe, no, 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 we don't need to rejoin the European Union or the single market. Uh, We want to bring down barriers to trade with our biggest market in other ways. How exactly? And uh, my right hon friend will know many of the things the government has been doing, including uh, subsidising energy bills. We recognise... How does subsidising energy bills help to reduce barriers to trade? If you're exporting something, the cost of the energy, well, if you're able to reduce the cost of the energy, maybe it's easy, it's, it's cheaper to produce the product, but that doesn't reduce the barrier to trade. The difficulties uh, that manufacturers and processing plants have, but uh, at the moment I'm particularly uh, focused on resolving trade barriers. We've resolved 178 trade barriers worth over six and a half billion pounds to businesses, including those in Essex over the next five years. So- wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you said we have resolved over the next five years. Sorry, you either have resolved them or they will be resolved over the next five years. Which is it? can't be we have resolved and then it will be resolved in the future it's either resolved now or it is it will be resolved in the future which is it what are these barriers what are you talking about so food producers uh, in her constituency specifically will be pleased to know that just last month when i was in japan for the g7 we resolved a barrier restricting exports of cooked poultry from the uk to japan um, it doesn't seem to be the case that the uk government resolved this this was re- related to avian flu and the and the Japanese government have reduced, have taken this barrier to trade away, but tr- taken this barrier to trade away to the European Union and Britain. So this isn't actually a Brexit benefit. Now, I may be mistaken because she's not giving us a lot of detail here, but it seems this is something that the um, the the Japanese government have taken away from pretty much all imports. <laughs> so it's not actually a Brexit benefit which I think uh, will provide a festive boost to UK exporters worth an estimated £10 million over five years. £10 million over five years. £10 million, not £10 million per year, £10 million over five years. 
So on the one hand, there's a drop in GDP of 4%, or 4% of GDP has been lost because of Brexit. But don't worry, we have on the other side of the scale, 10 million pounds every year. No, not every year, but over five years. Isn't that great? 10 million pounds over five years. <laughs> That's to help prop up the poultry industry in Britain, or in in particular Essex. Actually, it's not for Essex, it's for the whole um, poultry industry, because it's not just for Essex. So I don't know how much of that will go to Essex, of that 10 million over five years. Absolutely pathetic. And the fact that Pretty Patel posts this on her social media is pretty telling, because she doesn't understand that like, I would love to be a fly on the wall when it comes to the meetings she has with her constituents. For example, the pol poultry industry that probably put pressure on her. Please, you're our MP. Please go and ask a question on our behalf about what's happening with exports. And at no stage did she actually say, um, I actually campaigned for these barriers to trade. Or did she actually think it? Or did she just lie about it? Did the people who are asking her to represent her, represent them, did they ask her about her campaigning for these barriers to trade? Did she respond and say, actually, we're going to be able to bring them down? Or did she lie? It's all very mysterious. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.